Hi guys, it's me Ujwal Kumar and again welcome to my YouTube channel Study with Ujwal. Today we are going to discuss over a very interesting topic that is wave and its types. So please don't skip this video and watch this video till end because at the end of this topic we will also discuss about the derivation of an equation v is equals to f lambda. So please don't skip this video. If you got some knowledge from this video then please like, share and subscribe this video. So without wasting your time, let's start this tutorial. As we know that our today's topic is based on wave and its style. So first of all we have to know about wave. What is a wave? A wave is a disturbance which propagates energy from one place to another place without the transportation of its matter. Let's take a overlook on the diagram of wave. This is the diagram of wave. This is known as crest. Crest is known as the elevation of the wave is known as crest. And trough is known as the depression of the wave is known as trough. So we have to know about the types of wave. Wave is categorized into two types. First, mechanical wave. And the second is electromagnetic wave. This is also known as non-mechanical wave. So, so first of all, we have to know about mechanical wave. What is mechanical wave? A mechanical wave is a wave which is not capable of transmitting its energy through vacuum. It means it can travel through all the three mediums but it cannot transmit this energy through vacuum. Uh, the example of mechanical wave is sound waves. If anyone want to know the definition of mechanical wave, then it will display on your home screen. Second is electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic wave is a wave which is capable of transmitting its energy through anything. It means it can travel, it, it can transmit its energy through vacuum also. Example of electromagnetic wave is light waves. If anyone want to note the definition of electromagnetic wave, then it, is, it will display on your home screen. And I will also give a summary on the last of my video. Exam there are further two types of mechanical wave. First is transverse wave. Transverse wave. And second is longitudinal wave longitudinal wave going through the definition of transverse wave if the particles of the medium execute vibration perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the wave is known as transverse wave you can note it through the uh, display it, it will display on your home screen so you can note the definition and i will also mention it on the summary at the last of my video so example of transverse wave is wave in a string an example of longitudinal wave is wave in a slinky so the definition of longitudinal wave is that if the particles of the medium execute vibration parallel to the direction of the propagation of the wave is known as longitudinal wave. Example of longitudinal wave is wave through slinky. So we have to know about transverse waves in detail. Let's go through the diagram of transverse waves. This is a rough diagram of transverse wave. So this is a transverse wave in a string. The elevation in the wave of transverse wave, this is known as crest as I had described earlier and this is known as trough. Crest is known as the elevation in the wave and trough is known as the depression in the wave. So this is the short summary on transverse wave. Going through the definition of longitudinal wave that if the particles of the medium execute vibration parallel to the direction of the propagation of the wave is known as longitudinal wave. Let's take a overlook on the diagram of longitudinal wave. This is the rough diagram of longitudinal wave. 
दिस इज द कॉम्प्रेस्ड पार्ट कॉम प्रेस्ड पार्ट एंड दिस इज द स्ट्रेच पार्ट स्ट्रेच पार्ट द कॉम्प्रेस्ड पार्ट इज नोन एज कॉम्प्रेशन एंड द स्ट्रेच पार्ट इज नोन एज रियर फैक्शन so as i have told earlier that the viewers who views my video till last will definitely get a bonus point that is the derivation of the equation b is equals to f lambda so let's take a overlook on its derivation so let's take a overlook on the derivation of the equation b is equals to f lambda here v is called velocity f is called frequency and like this is the symbol of lambda means wavelength so uh in 1 second number of vibration is equals to 1 so in t second number of vibration is equals to 1 in 1 second number of vibration is equals to 1 by t as we know that number of vibration in 1 second is denoted by frequency so frequency is equals to 1 by time period so frequency into time period is equals to 1 let the speed is equals to v so velocity is equals to distance of wavelength by time period so v is equals to lambda by time v is equals to lambda into 1 by time as we know that 1 by time period is equals to frequency so v is equals to frequency into lambda this means that velocity is equals to frequency multiplied by time period this is the shortest derivation of the equation v is equals to f lambda so viewers let's take a over look on this summary <laughs>